Another thing, though, which is, uh, be, has been a big issue in the UK, is that uh, the mere intention conduct, to conduct an HTA can impact on the use of the product. And uh, we've just recently been looking at NICE's decisions on cancer products and, uh, we, and actually comparing it with decisions made uh, by CMS, uh, the Veterans Administration, and some private health plans here. And one of the things that's quite amazing is that a lot of the products that have been uh, approved here and are fully reimbursed are still on NICE's to-do list, even though they've been licensed a couple of years ago. And that's something that's become uh, a bit of a concern of our government. And, and I think you know, one of the lessons is, if you're going to do some health technology assessment, uh, do it in a timely way. And there's, a, there's an expression that people use in the UK called nice blight. That is that nice said it was going to look at your uh, technology, but it's taken a long time to do it. And in the meantime, people are saying, well, we can't provide this because nice is looking at it. And, and that in itself is, is actually causing a barrier to entry uh, for some new products.